All right, so we can see from our sample application that we want team training to appear up here at the top. And then we want a next button that has this nice little splash effect. So if we remember on the app bar, we have a title property, which takes a widget. Everything's a widget. So let's give it a text that says team training. Okay, so that's sitting off to the left. So we want to center the title. So we remember how to do that. We can go to the property center title and say true. And we also want this uh, text button next sitting over here on the right side. So there is a property. If I hit control space and look at all the properties available uh, in my app bar for actions. And we saw this in the documentation when we looked at the app bar that the actions are a series of buttons that can sit over to the right side of the toolbar. And so we're going to give that a text button. And that's going to have a child, which is a text widget that will say next. And remember, we've got the squiggly here because we need a child and we need an on pressed method. So our on pressed, we're just going to set this up with a blank function. So open and close parentheses, open and close curly braces. That'll tell it to do nothing. All right, so there we go. That is a, a blue color, and that's not really what we want there. So let's come into our text property and let's do style. And we'll add text style. And here we can give it a color, and the color will be colors.white. And we save that, and we are looking pretty similar to our example application. All right, let's add the image widget as well. So now we're down in the body. So we added a container with the colors pink, double infinity for width and height. So if we want to add more to that container, we can do that with a child property. And a good child for this container would be a column, because a column is going to take up the rest of the space available on the screen. And that's what we want to do here. So let's say column. I'm going to double space twice and hit Enter, because I like to put children on the next line. And so bouncing back to our example, where are you? Here we go. So I want this image of Philadelphia right at the top. So I'm going to go back to that website called Google. And I am going to search Philadelphia. Click on images and I'm going to pick. Oh, let's pick this one right here. So I'm going to copy image address. And the first child of my column is going to be an image. Remember, I can do my dot. And I've got some options here. And we're going to pick network. And I'm going to paste inside a string that address I just got from the web. And there it is. OK, so we're making progress here. It looks like I picked a slightly different picture, but oh, it's pretty close. It's like the same angle. It must be like a, a mounted cam on a roof, because it's exactly the same except for the clouds. So we've got our app bar here, we've got our image here, and now we're ready to add some text down below. So we'll do that in the next section.